in the kitchen and I'm cooking that yo. In the kitchen and I'm cooking that yo. In the kitchen and I'm cooking up yo. In the kitchen and I'm cooking up yo. Don't need no pyre in y'all. Don't need no baking soda. In the kitchen and I'm cooking that yo. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's cracking with you, Joy? It's on Marley TV right now. We about to do a video. This beautiful lady right here, this is my mother right here. Uh, she's about to teach us how to make some gumbo. You can, you can tell yourself, you know what I'm saying? Yes, this is Lily. We're going to do a little pot of gumbo. So let's, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it right now, man. So we're going to teach y'all the real way how to make gumbo. Some of y'all really don't. Whatever. But we're going to hit you up next step right here. Okay, first step of cooking this gumbo. Have to cut up this celery right now uh you can cut up a whole stalk of celery but it, you know you can put more in there if you want to the more the merrier all right step two we're going to be cutting up these three bell peppers i have two green and one red uh we don't have a big pot so we're going to just cut up three for now if you have a bigger pot i think you should cut up more you know but uh yeah all right step three we're going to be cutting up 12 sausages you don't have to cut them up real small just you can cut them up like i'm cutting them up right here all right step four i'm going to cut up these steaks you see how small they are uh so i end up cutting up five you know i should be good okay so i cut up the steaks sausages celery bell peppers and uh we have chicken right here and then we have the crabs on ice right now and then we got the shrimps, man. That's mostly everything we need. It's nothing. Okay, step five, add the steak, and then we add water. See what we wanna do, we wanna have the water, have enough water to cover up the steak so the steak can cook well. See right now, I'm gingerly putting the water in there. I'm supposed to dump that whole water in there, you know what I'm saying? Right now, moms just came over here. She said, add some more water. You, you, you're going too far. You ain't going far enough. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. All right, step six. We got to add the sausages and water. So, we adding a lot of water right here. You know, you're going to understand this pot ain't that big for nothing. So, we adding the sausages in there. Yeah, this going to be good. It's going to be good right here, man. For sure. So get that, get up in there, man. You know, I'm over here. You know, I got the shaky hands, you know. So right now we're going to add the chicken and water. You know, water everything. We're going to put water in everything. You know what I'm saying? So we add the water, dump that chicken in there. See, I wasn't trying to just dump the chicken in there because that joint was hot. And, you know, I don't want that splashback action, man. You know, it's dangerous out here. It's real dangerous, B. You know, so... Hey. Yeah, so we adding the chicken right there, dump it all up in there, you know, yeah. Give it a little twirl, and you good. Okay, step seven, we're going to add five bay leaves. I actually added six. I wanted to be sure the seasoning was gonna be there, man. I didn't wanna take no chances. So I just put the extras in there, man. You can't never have too many bay leaves if that's a thing. I don't know. But yeah. Okay, step seven. You're gonna add some seasoning right here. This seasoning right here is homemade right here. Ain't got no salt. This joint is flavorful, man, you know. But listen, no, my brother, you got to make your own, my nigga. <laughs> Next step. Good eating right here, man. Listen, step eight. We're going to put this okra in the oven. Let all the slimes cook off. Okay, step nine. We're going to put these bell peppers in, in the pot. Um, put them all in there. We actually could have cut one more up. And uh, it had been real good, you know what I'm saying? But this will do. So we're going to give it a stir. Make sure everything's consistent. Then we're going to put the celery in there. This one, actually, we could have put another half stalk of celery in there, you know. 
that's how it gets thick that's how it gets that flavor you know so we're gonna get at a little twist and turn get it real you know everything cooking consistently yay it look good it good <laughs> Okay, before we get to the next step, I just want to stir it around, make sure all these vegetables is cooking right, you know, yeah, it looks good, looks good. Okay, for step 10, we're going to put in the diced tomatoes, three cans of diced tomatoes, you can actually use more, it depends on how big your pan is, you know, and then step 11, we're going to put in the corn two cans of corn you know uh two cans of corn is actually good for hey, me we don't want that. too much corn you know? so two cans are good for me so we're going to turn that up make sure everything is cooking consistently you know everything is cooking consistently look it looks very good very flavorful i wish you could smell what i smell right now if you had smell of vision good god make you want to slap your mom <laughs> Okay, before we get to the next step, we want to hit it with a little lot of mercy seasoning, man. Give it a couple stirs, you know, get it looking good. You see that right there? Ooh, that's good. Yeah, okay. So everything looking good, you know. So for step 12, we're going to throw in these shrimps right here, these crabs. So I'm throwing in the shrimps right now using the tongs right now because I don't like the splash back action I'm not trying to be over here with the two face with the one burnt side and the one regular side so I'm using my tongs you know what I'm saying and it's working real good for your boy so the shrimps are in there so we're gonna add these crabs see right now I had a few crabs I haven't broken them off as, you know you know I haven't broken them off yet so I'm taking them off right now you know you see they swimming, you know, swimming in the juices and berries, man. It's just looking good, you know what I'm saying? So I had some other crabs. I'm just going to dump them in there, man. And, you know, keep it keep it moving, you know what I'm saying? So this is like this dish right here, man. I grew up off this dish. My mother used to make this dish so good, man. So listen, we're going to dump these crabs in there. That's some OG crabs. Put them in there, too, you know what I'm saying? Yay! It look good. Yay! Okay, then we add the rest of these crabs. You know, some of these crabs look real anorexic, man. You know, but you doing it for the video. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's looking so good. You know, we grab a spoon, you know. We uh, stir that up, man. Make sure everything, these crabs get up under that juice, you know. So it can cook real well. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. Yeah okay that's looking good though so step 13 you're gonna put this okra in there right here that we put in the oven earlier i almost did something stupid take the paper out just dump it in there boy go playing with you go playing with yourself so we put it in there and everything's copacetic you know all right and then we grab our spoon and we get the spinning and twirling and spinning and twirling, spinning and spinning and twirling. Yeah. Pause. Okay, for the 14th and last step, we have to put this ground, this pure ground gumbo fight. So you have to put in at least half of this container right here that you see me with. I think I use a little bit more than half. Yeah, I use about half. Um, so right now I'm gonna give it a little stir, you know, to you know make sure every everybody gets that ground that ground gumbo fire, you know. Um, and then you, if you can smell what I'm smelling right now, oh my lord, this is so fire. This is like. Goo. So we're going to add a little bit more. Actually, I added a lot bit more. But I could have added some more. So this is good. Add a little bit more. 
give it a stir. So this is the final task to make the gumbo. It had to sit at least about 20 more minutes and then it'll be ready to eat. You know, it depends on you. Uh, you know how they say like gumbo always tastes better the next day, you know, because everything had its chance to sit and simmer it all together and it, be, it just becomes one, you know, so yeah. Let's wait for the finishing product. Okay, y'all done. Yeah. I'm talking to the camera. All done. Uh -huh. All right, all right, everything done. About to take me a sample taste. I'm about to get murdered this joint. Listen, man. If you like this video, go subscribe right now. You know, if you want to see more cooking videos, let me know. Hit the comment box, man. Listen, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Liggity lock in with your boy. Eat for free. You know what I do. Zone out. In the kitchen and I'm cooking that yo, yo. In the kitchen and I'm cooking that yo, yo. In the kitchen and I'm cooking up yo, yo. In the kitchen and I'm cooking up yo, yo. Don't need no pirate, y'all.